Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Today I would like to explain about one of the mechanical comparators and that will be state as a Johnson's micro crater. So before starting this theory, I would like to suggest one thing, the basic concept, basic characteristics, how the comparator characteristics and that will be explaining in my previous lectures and that link it will be given in my description. Then after you will start with this theory. So now let us start with the basic construction and working of the Johnson's micro crater. So starting with the principle, so just you can concentrate this twisted metal strip it will be fixed from the one side that will be the cantilever strip and another side that will be the bell crank lever. So starting with the principle, so the twisted metal strip when such kind of tension is given to that particular twisted metal strip and that will be case is the untwist. So twist, untwist, twist, untwist, such kind of motions you can generating and in between that will be using of the thin glass pointer. So that will be used as a indicator. So as working principle just you can see the comparator works on to the principle that when a tension is applied to the twisted strip. So what happens it causes the strip to untwist and the resulting into the rotations. So that will be vibrating or you can say rotations of the pointer. So which attach at the center of the twisted strip. So that will be used as a indicators. So that will be the basic principle of the Johnson's micro crater. Now starting with the important part and that will be the construction of the Johnson's micro crater. So let us start from the bottom side. So here that will be the contact point. So each and every comparator that will be having a contact point. So this contact point it will be in physical contact with the some of the workpiece materials. So for suppose this is my workpiece right or you can say standard piece. So you can use standard piece as a slip gauges. So that will be having a some initial result. So by this contact, this contact point, so that will be connected directly to the bell crank lever, right? So that bell crank lever by this contact pressure that will be having a some deflections and the another end that will be the cantilever kind of strips and which is a fixed kind of. So in between the cantilever strip and bell crank that will be connected with the help of twisted metal strip. So what happened at the initials first of all taking a reading with the standard piece or you can say with the application of the slip gauges. So that will be having a some indications by this twisting and untwisting of that particular metallic strip and this thin glass pointer that will be at the center of that particular twisted metal strip. So, right. So that will be the reading number one. Now this slip gauges that will be replacing by the workpiece. Now this one is our workpiece material or you can say measuring job or you can say workpiece. So due to that change of that particular dimensions so that will be having a plunger displacement. So that will be amount of displacement. I would like to say that will be delta x movement. So by this delta x movement. So that will be having a upward movement of this plunger. So according to that movement. This bell crank lever. It will be also moved like this. So according to that. It will be having a in this direction. So that will be generating the tension. So tension it will be onto the twisted metal strip. So according to that principle we already discussed this pointer it will be into rotational. 
so that will be change of that particular distance so at initially that will be the r1 now the changing of that particular components or you can say workpiece that will be the change onto that glass pointer onto the twisted metal strip by the twisted as well as untwisted by the changing of that particular dimensions so according to that construction of the johnson's micro crater what happens the small movement of the plunger is magnified into the large rotations of the pointer so in order to prevent the excessive stress onto that central portions so the strip is being perforated onto the center line so basically for the magnification of this instruments so basically that will be the ratio of rate of change of the pointer or you can say that will be d theta or you can say in simple way rate change of pointer rotations so rotation in theta to the change into length so d theta by d l so basically that will be directly proportional to that particularly l into w square into n where theta that will be act as a twist of the spring at the center with respect to the n so that will be the twist l length of the twisted strip measure along to the natural axis w that will be the width of that particular strip and n that will be the number of tons is being used so that will be how many number of tons you can use in between these two ends one is a cantilever strip end and another that will be considering as a bell crank lever end so how many numbers of tons you can use for the measurement which kind of width of this strip how it will be affected and this length of the strip so these all are as a parameters and this one is the relation for the magnification for johnson's micro crater so how these three things basically width number of tons or you can say tons and that particular length for the measurement of the jobs now from these lessons that will be says that in the length or you can say l of the strip is being increasing so this length is being increasing so what kind of effect for the magnifications so the magnification of this instrument is being increased because that will be increasing the tension so the length of the strip can be increasing by adjusting the cantilever length so you can adjusting the distance between two ends so that will be attached with this so just you can change the distance from this side so if you are increasing the length that will be increasing the magnifications so that will be the straight relations now if width of the strip that will be decreasing because that will be into lower side so if this one is a uh, decreasing so the magnification is being increasing and the last one the magnification can be increased by increasing the number of tons if we are using this more number of tons between these two cantilever strips and the bell crank strip that will be also increasing the magnifications of the johnson's micro crater so these all are the basic construction working principle and applications and how you can change these parameters for increasing the magnifications for basically this kind of instrument is used for the small changes into the dimensions so that would be all regarding for the johnson's micro crater if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much